Defeated at the professional, 21 wins from 21 contests, nine wins coming by way of knockout. He's rated at number three by the WBC and is the WBC international champion. And tonight, the challenger for the title, please welcome from Italy, Giacobbe Fragomelli. Trunks fighting from Bernsey. He weighed in at 14 stone, four pound. He holds an 18 fight record, 17 wins, 16 wins, coming by way of knockout with just one solitary loss. Ranked by the WBC at number two, he's the reigning cruiserweight champion of Europe. Tonight, making the third defense of his title, presenting London's very own, David I spoke to both of you in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all time. Protect yourself at all times. Do the best you can. Shake hands. Third defense of his uh, cherished. Just some slight. He's about to go into battle. Just complain. Italian god. He's unbeaten in 21, but he is old. Back in 1999. Help Fragomini or Jim was that just a long time ago? He was only a boy. But I tell you, great hand from here. Good uppercut. Left and right from David Hay. Really apparent close in at ringside. He's getting one with the raw power of Hay. He can knock him out just to the forehead, so he may have to try something else. Fragomini trying to close it. To do that, can't get Rose away. This is still caught. Marauding forward, getting the gloves up, blocking most of that. Now, that was a right hand that he would have expected. Absolutely. If he shows the solid chin, Fragomini, he may be closing at the later stages. Just complains there. Complaining about a clash of heads here. Get the referee watching. He's been targeting the body too in the opening session, trying to get him. A very warm welcome back to a jam-packed York Hall Bentley Green. David Hay, how did he start, Jim? Started well, but he had no choice. I mean, he had to start at a pace because Fragamini has made him do that. He's made him work. He's won the opening round, but Fragamini has made him work. Some bookmakers had Hay a 33 to 1 on favourite to take Hay into the trenches and test the stamina and chin. These first three or four rounds, Jim, crucial. Yeah, well, he must be in front of the half. What does he may have? What will there be stamina? Slightly weight trained or whatever. Joy's too much. As he went 12 rounds for the first... Stamina over the championship distance. He's trying to walk forward. And Hay attempts the uppercut, standing at 5, 9 and a half. See, a man... Well, I think Fraggy Mini will be looking upon the first control of things as he's been pretty much throughout his career. Facing themselves in Stoke on Trent. Well, he is winding up bombs, and I don't see the point. I mean, look at the timely, but he's putting power into every shot. David Hay has been doing some work in Miami with the Cuban coach, Jorge Trainer, for this. Well, he's always in good shape, and David Hay has his own ideas about preparing himself for a fight. Very few fighters are capable of doing that. No secret that he struggles to make it, wants to move to heavyweight, and it's up. Yeah, well, that's, that's the thing he's before. He usually gets a bang on the button, and he's been forced back here from the first belt. He's never been able. Fragamini on my card lost the first two rounds, but when back tactics at the front as part of the plan, and these are good shots from here. That one landed on the chin, this is what he needs, has to be fighting. He's still marching forward. He's had wars with the former IBF champion, Kelvin Davis. I've never questioned his heart because he showed in the only fight he lost against Carl Thompson, he had plenty of heart. Frustrating when you can't catch an opponent cleanly, but sometimes it's even more frustrating. And he's still there looking at you, and that's what happened in this round. As Hay softened him up of the Italian. It's fascinating, Jim. It's not yeah. from here in this round. He's still been forced around, still this kind of fighting. But he's coping with it so well. He's a beautiful... 
Now the right hand round the side from David Hay. Says his haymaker stoppage. That was the prediction. We have to remember the good news for he is that uh, Flagamini is not a big puncher. Yeah, how much did that take, hey, Jim? Yep. That was the best round of the, the fight so far because he had to produce some quality and he did that. I mean, punched. That a... What kept uh, Fragamini on, on his feet and caught him more cleanly, but psychologically, who's it going to harm more? Will he be worried now that his power's not Several getting the times he landed in the chin? Oh, sorry, sorry. And he doesn't look all that unhappy. As though this is not. Benny in the house. Chip away for the first one. Neil Bell lies ahead. Some point in the future. And who's going to have the final say? Jacobi, Fragamini, right hand. And there was a punch in there. The referee has signaled down that it was a punch that caused it. Morrison's, he is in big trouble. Punches caused the cut. Two winning clean from Fragamini. His stuff ready to work. Minute and a half left in the round. He has to cope with another test of his character. Well, it has the big round in the previous round dented his confidence. Big problems, the cut is worsened already. Yeah, it looks deep. But Fragamini is bulldozing his way through. But all Fragamini is making that injury worse, and you can't blame him. He's spotted. Face is a bloody mask, and Mick Williamson's got a minute to do something. He cuts. Can he do anything with this? Of the eye. Well, the referee handed the incident well. He just kept well out of it. But that was the the punch, and you see, you see the punch, and that was just the added incentive that Fragamini needed. Round behind, we get back to the corner. See if uh, Mick Williams has so much work to keep himself in control here. Fragamini then seemed a little sat his back slightly refreshed because he's looking positive again. See the number five in the WBA, three in the IBF. So much at stake here. Body shot. Can he sicken Fragamini? He's hurt him, and Fragamini's in trouble. And David A goes for the finish. He's down. Daniel Vanderbilt, but he takes the count. And suddenly, in the ninth round, David Hay stands on the brink. Oh my man! And David Hay gets the victory. Gets his career really firing because Jim he proves so much tonight. Just the end of the last round I said he's around the boxes. It's just a case now of getting a result. Didn't think he'd get a it would be quite so competitive. Full credit to Fragamini for what he brought to the team. They are saluting their new hero for the WBC crown and this is how it all... Yeah, and any questions about his stamina or his strength at Cruiserweight, his answer was sure they just sickened Fragamini that little bit open slightly, probably pulled his elbows down to cover the, the, the second punch coming and he was caught cleanly to the head, the referee taken that punch, but I think by this time his corner had already decided to get this. look at the power he could still summon up here, I think he paced things perfectly, tactics were perfect, struggled all the way through, but when he got back to his feet after the knockdown, he looked to the corner as though to say, and he did that, but these are tremendous punches, Power still there after eight hard rounds. Tremendous. An immense effort. But Patrizio Oliver, so experienced, pulls his man to David D. Hay. The night of his boxing life. And still. Cruiserweight champion of Europe, David Hay! And ladies and gentlemen, please tell me your appreciations. Uh, How he's enjoying it. So much more still to come. Along those lines. He's always been a good talker. <laughs> Let's hear what he has.